Okay, so I'm gonna draw our birds on this separate piece of paper before I draw it on my um, board, just because it's not really showing up very good on the board and I really want you to see it well. Um, so, birds, realistic birds, for me, always start out with an egg. So this egg is going to go at an angle here, and then this one is going to go right next to it, okay? So if you think about that as like two little egg shapes, right? Before birds were born, they were little eggs. <clears throat> and then, um, so let's pretend like our, our, uh, this is our thing. So, and down here is a little tail here. And then this comes up, obviously, I'm not going to draw through that, but it comes up like this, and then this comes up like this. Okay? So this is this part of the body. Then at the top of the... Um, body is this little head here and then at the top of this body is this little head here okay so they're like little what will we call those <laughs> um, like an upside down U shape that's on top of the egg shape so then um, they have the triangle here right or diamond. That one's. Um, and then the eye, that's right across from that eye there. So this guy's wing is gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kinda make it a little bit bigger there. And then this guy's wing is gonna go like this. Here. Now, this is a very basic shape, so you may end up, you know, looking at some birds and decide, oh, I want, you know, you can um, lengthen out the little um, and give it some more shape if you want to. Um, so, like, I'll probably shorten that up and give this head a little bit more of a, <laughs> a bird shape. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm looking at my birds over there and trying to use them as an example. So, um, anyway, when I do it, I don't really follow a formula. I look at a bird and then I, and then I, um, have that as my reference and his eye is going to go forward a little bit. Um, and so that's a basic, basic shape if you want a basic, basic shape. Or what I recommend is looking on um, Pinterest and finding a reference uh, for your birds. So I'm going to go ahead and draw mine on, on my board. And like I said, this is a very basic shape. So mine might be a little bit more detailed than that. We'll see. And I'm not sure if I can fit two in. So here's my board again. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to use my reference photo. And then I'll try to explain what I'm doing at the same time. Should I put that there? It looks like there's too much reflection. Okay. So... This bird, I'm starting out with that egg shape. But part of the egg is underneath the branch. So um, if you need to, you can always kind of make it go over the branch and then just erase it. So I'm starting out with that egg shape here. And then this one kind of has that same shape, but it's not 
but you can't see the whole bird. So like I said, you could draw it in if you want to, but you might not be able to fit your whole bird in there. Okay, and then um, on this one, it has like a little neck here, and then a rounded off part here. And like I said, I recommend um, finding a picture on Pinterest of doves or of your favorite bird and trying to draw it yourself. Just think about it as a, a broken down shape. I know this lesson is a little bit more difficult and you certainly can use the birds that we've been doing as well um, if that's easier for you. I just wanted to give you a little bit more of a challenge. So his wing goes like this and then his little tail goes down here. And this one's looking down a little bit. And I do think I'm going to put him in front of that. Well, I'm really pushing it on space here. I might need to have this one um, sit somewhere else. Okay, well, I'm going to stick with this guy. His head's a little bit rounded there. I'm just going to adjust him a little bit. And like I said, I'll give you the PDF of the drawing so that you can have a little bit more support if you don't feel comfortable with So his little beak is longer than our other eyes' as beaks, triangle-wise. Um, and then his eye goes directly across from the beak. And then we'll put in some more. feathers and all that good stuff. One of the things I recommend most as you um, decide you want to grow as an artist is drawing all the time. So just sitting and constantly drawing and getting better at drawing. There really isn't a perfect formula on how to draw things. You just kind of have to do it over and over and over and over again until you get good at it. I really recommend taking a sketchbook with you wherever you go. So if you're at the doctor's office or anywhere else and just um, sketching out what you see around you and just really, um, really just trying to get a concept of what things look like and just observing them. Okay, little guy. How do I fit you in here? Okay, and like I said, sometimes you have to adjust the, the shapes um, to fit better. Sometimes your eye doesn't quite see things the way that they are. Sorry about all that noise. <laughs> And then this guy's tail is going to go down here.
So I'm going to go ahead and go over this with a matte medium. Um, you can just go over it with your heavy gel medium if you want to or even a glue. But I just want to seal in what we have here so that um, at the end when you spray your sealer what will happen is uh, it'll soak in if you don't kind of seal it with something on top and I'm not sure what I'm going to use after this so if I use ink or anything um, and I haven't done this like if I try to do this after I've used ink besides like a sharpie pen or if I use watercolor it'll just smear all over the whole surface and then um, that will be super frustrating <laughs> so um, uh, at the end, I'm going to spray the whole thing with a, a clear coat just to protect it so that whoever ends up with it later, whether that's me or uh, if that's somebody else, um, they will have it protected for years. Alright, so I'm dry and I went ahead and got some paint on my palette. So I have like a peachy, peachy, <laughs> peachy orange color and white and black. So those are the only three colors I have. And I'm going to mix the, the peachy orange with the white. And I'm going to mix the black with the white for the colors gray and light peach. So I recommend using whatever colors it is that you love, like always. Um, <clears throat> these are just the colors that I'm wanting to use today. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and use a round brush again. Um, this is a number eight. And I'm just mixing, so I'm just mixing the color. My brush is wet. My brush is always wet when I'm using acrylic paint. So I never go into it with a dry brush. That's really important. So I'm just mixing this orangey color with some white until I get the, the color that I really want. And that's what I'm doing on my palette. And I'm going to go into the front section of my birds and I'm just going to go ahead and um, paint in the peach part of my bird. Right now there's enough water in here that it's transparent enough that I can see my eye through it. Um, but over time as I build up my layers that's going to go away. But that's okay because you can go back in and draw it in. I just. Wanted to make sure that you kind of saw where that eye is supposed to go. Um, so. Just keep going and with that. This is really important. We talked about this before. So you can see through this right now. That's okay. I'm not going to keep painting, painting, painting to try to not see through it. I'm leaving it alone and I'm letting it dry. That's a very important part of acrylics is just knowing that you're going to have to go back in with multiple layers and um, paint over and over and over again. Or at least a few layers anyway. That's just part of acrylic paint. One thing that's really handy is to have baby wipes or Q-tips right next to your surface that you're working on. That way, if you do make a mistake, you can just grab a Q-tip and spit on it and get rid of your mistake. I'm trying to decide if I want the tails to be peach or gray. I'm just going to leave them for right now. So we're going to let that dry. It is okay to go in with paint next to wet paint with acrylics sometimes. I kind of don't like to just because um, I just don't like to but if you want to you can. It's not like the watercolor where it's going to bleed into everything. Me, who just a little piece of me.